One of the things that you mentioned that I'll pick up on is that patents helped some inventors stay anonymous. So all you see recorded is the name and the place where the person lived. So there was no internet at the time. There was no way to fact check who was whom. And this happened a, a lot that uh, people with um, with non-black sounding names at the time uh, would show up for different jobs or to sell their inventions and they were turned away because it was found out that they were not white as it was suspected, but they were black. So Garrett Morgan in particular found uh, creative ways to keep selling to his uh, white customers. Uh, he uh, sold his gas mask in different ways uh, by hiring uh, white salesmen who pretended to be Garrett Morgan. So in uh, searching out uh, newspapers uh, during this period and just looking for Garrett Morgan doing what he did across the country, uh, we found somebody pretending to be Garrett Morgan is, you know, selling the gas mask, demonstrating it. And, uh, and this is clearly a white person because it would have been big news had this been a black person. I don't think a black person would have felt comfortable being you know, this far out in a rural area in, uh, in New York at the time. So that's one thing that he did. He also hired a Native American to pretend to be him and he pretended to be his research assistant. So they would both be at the demonstration, but you know, uh, Native Americans were uh, were known for their famous medicine shows, and they were thought to be uh, rather clever, rather inventive with their boats and the moccasins and their uh, their chemical remedies, their plant remedies. So, so they were trusted as people who could uh, could be inventive. So he hired a Native American to work with him. So uh, that he would be the one answering all the questions, right? So uh, this was just to get his uh, foot in the door. So that's one thing he did. Then he just started dressing up like the uh, this uh, this Native American chief, and he would uh, answer these uh, questions as well. So he was being very creative and trying to. Uh, trying to sell uh, the gas mask. What added Garrett Morgan was this disaster at uh, at Lake Erie, whereby no one could bring out the uh, the workers working under Lake Erie. They're, they're building a gas line under Lake Erie, and uh, there was this disaster. People had died, and he got his brother in the middle of the night, uh, they put on the gas mask and they started bringing people out. So they started bringing out both the people who were still alive and those who had already passed away, but they're the only ones who could do it. So this was the ultimate trial, ultimate test of their gas mask. So he was successful at doing this. And the unfortunate thing for him was that his picture appeared in the paper with his gas mask and bringing out these uh, dead bodies and these people who were alive. Uh, so he wasn't given the uh, accolades, all the accolades for bring, bringing people out uh, dead or alive, but it was shown that this was an African-American and uh, Southern uh, Fire Department who had ordered the gas mask uh, canceled their orders. So he, he suspected this was ha would happen and in, in fact it did happen. Yeah, it's incredible. It just... Uh the oh, just an example of incredible uh, entrepreneurial creativity combined with the inventive uh, right. ability that he had.